Welcome to our expert talk. I'm Oliver Jönsen and this is my colleague Mirko Funke. Together, we would like to show you how Siemens can help you to achieve Industry 4.0. And also, warm welcome from my side. As part of digitalization, our customers are always considering new possibilities for communication. Which customer benefits are offered by generating data? Today's digital factory sets brand new possibilities in the area of communication and connectivity. Digitalization results in even larger amounts of data that is essential for optimizing processes and increasing efficiency and productivity. That's why Siemens is constantly offering new future-oriented technologies, innovations and end-to-end -end communication solutions. The digitalization of systems creates data that is being processed in higher level systems. We have to consider the fact that many customers have existing systems that are made up of components from a variety of vendors and that these components have to communicate with one another. Other customers are planning brand new plants. Nevertheless, the requirements are always the same. Through digitalization, the data is generated that then needs to travel from the field level via the control level to the operator level to the management and finally to the cloud. Of course, there also has to be a way to analyze the data securely from the OT, formerly called field level, to the IT, which means edge computing and cloud services. But let's start with foundation with our Profinet. For more than 15 years, Siemens has been offering the Ethernet-based communication system for the field level whose functions were constantly being expanded. Profinet is a field bus application layer that defines a protocol suite on a standard Ethernet. It is used to control machines and plants in the OT and can easily be accessed from the IT for purposes like diagnostics or asset management. Profinet enables the seamless networking of drive systems, controllers, sensors, actuators or identification system. It has proven itself on the basis of over 30 million nodes in the field. The protocol has stayed the same over the years, whereas the functions have been expanded. Sorry, Mirko, to interrupt you. Profinet is on layer 7 in the ISO OC reference model. Where can I find TSN? Well, the introduction of TSN itself won't change anything about Profinet because TSN operates here on layer 2 of the ISO OC reference model. This means we are enhancing the network layer and we are gaining a standard Ethernet from the year 2020 that offers new functionalities like robustness, plug and work, or a broad cross manufacturer foundation of Ethernet chips. Profinet itself, based on our layer 7, remains constant on the application layer because TSN alone is unable to transport data or parameterize field devices. These functions continue to require a field bus application layer like Profinet is. This makes Profinet the optimal solution yesterday, today and tomorrow. Programming and diagnostics stay the same for both users and machine builders. TSN expands the network's functionality. How can we demonstrate the benefit of TSN in this process. Well, let's take a simple showcase, which we have been always be able to solve with Profinet. Thanks to the real-time capability, we are able to synchronize nodes with an accuracy under microseconds and then align deep of 100 devices. It is capable, for instance, to synchronize access. Let's assume that we have here two access in our system. And they are needed to synchronize on a workpiece. Here in our graphic, two motors are being driven to rotate these two disks. They are moving too fast for the human eye to detect 
whether they are synchronized or not. To show this, another technology called CAMS. Now, when the axes reach a specific position, a stroboscope flash is fired and telling us which letters are joined together on the discs. An important feature of Profinet over TSN is the robustness of the network. We can demonstrate it very easily simply by connecting an additional camera to the network that transmits the image data to a monitor. Even if we activate the network load generator, the system is still unaffected. All that happens is that the camera image is frozen by the additional network load. In contrast to today, another bonus with our Profinet over TSN is the use of scaled bandwidth. With Profinet over RT or IRT, only 100 megabits per second were possible. Yeah, and with Profinet over TSN, the bandwidth is now scaled from 10 megabit up to 10 gigabit. The initial prototypes of Siemens work with a line speed of 1 gigabit per second. The creation of larger data highways naturally permits entirely different amounts of data, which also means more services. Yeah, but that's not all. With Profinet over TSN, we can also introduce new meshing concepts. We call this the plug and work feature. This means that we can add or remove machines from our network anywhere. The interrupted line is being restored. What's so great is that the network now recovers on its own because the configuration takes place in the TSN network and not even more in the engineering system. Formally, in cases like this, the entire network first has to be shut down and the production briefly stopped. Fantastic. This new TSN feature now makes it possible to build modular machines and add or remove machine modules during runtime that can even be embedded in synchronous operation. This has many obvious advantages. Mirko, migration is a very important topic as we have already over 30 million nodes in the field. How can they be used in a TSN network? Well, that's an interesting aspect, Oliver. It was a core requirement of TSN. Profinet over TSN is also possible to seamlessly connect today's devices into the network. This means that legacy devices and new devices, new TSN devices, can be operated together in the same network. Profinet over TSN has many advantages. But how can we actually communicate with additional PLCs or machines? Besides Profinet over TSN, there's a way to transmit even more information in the same network, even via the same cable. OPCUA provides production data, including additional information for further processing. For machine builders, this means real-time, manufacturer-independent interconnection of controllers using OPCUA over TSN. To effectively engineer OPCUA, Siemens maps production data onto the OPC data model via Siome, Siemens OPCUA modeling editor. The standardized data description can be imported to Siome via a companion specification containing the information structure standardized for this certain application or industry sector. The advantage is that information can then be exchanged across manufacturers even when the PLC is not controlled by Profinet. You can see in this example of a robot from a third-party vendor. But when it comes to robots, safety is really important. Yeah, Oliver, that's right, of course. One of the most important aspects at all is safety. The integration of safety in my process plays a major role. Let's assume that the emergency stop button is being activated at the field level by Profinet. This is determined by our ProfiSafe profile 
and communicate it to the FieldSafe PLC. With OPC UA safety, now the shutdown can be communicated across the network to the other machine. Here in this example, not only the access are being stopped via Profinet, but this stop function is also forwarded to the third-party application, in this case the robot. The entire control process via OPC UA is not only extremely reliable, but could also even happen in real time over TSM. And with OPC UA, you can realize a standard vertical integration from the OT, the field level, up to IT in edge or cloud systems. In this context, it's important to mention edge computing, because thanks to Siemens Industrial Edge, users can decide where data will be stored and analyzed. You could easily use Siemens Edge for processing data on site or an external cloud provider in order to realize this functionality outside your company. But first of all, let's summarize the advantages of TSN once again. It means real-time capable Ethernet, higher bandwidth, up to the gigabit range, cross-manufacturer communications, robustness, the possibility of plug and work, and very important, a worldwide standard that needs to be organized. This sounds really promising, but when does the worldwide standard is finally going to be established? One thing is clear, TSM will become the Ethernet for the future. It has tremendous benefits on the entire network. It's absolutely necessary to have an international common understanding of a TSN profile for industrial automation. This profile will be defined in a joint project of the IEC and the IEEE in the 6802. The forecast of this profile has to be finished in 2022. Siemens itself is playing a pioneer role in the global standardization of TSN and is active in the standards organizations. Until the TSN standards are adopted, however, data will be transmitted via the usual paths. As we drive TSN, we continue to develop Profinet as an open ecosystem. It's a perfect choice for efficient communication on the field level. That almost brings us to the end. With Profinet and OPC UA from Siemens, you're always on the right path to digitalization. Professionally, reliably, and proactively. Today's Profinet applications will still be able to communicate on TSN-capable networks. This means that they're already an important step ahead. Oliver really has our sales pitch down. But seriously, we stand behind our products and never stop adapting them to your requirements and adding more and more improvements. We hope that our talk gave you new incentives and demonstrated the many opportunities that came with digitalizing your plant. Thank you for listening. And thanks for your interest.